what's happening guys Sunday morning here well Sunday afternoon midday uh, I'm gonna do this as probably I was gonna do this as a special and put it up at a later date but after seeing what I seen last night on the footage I got of doing the front I decided to go ahead and just do it today uh, I'm really excited about the way this thing's turning out um, can't wait to see the way it, the, the finished product turns out. So, I will get out now and we'll do a, a quick walk around to the front. See what, you know, how all that turned out in the daylight. And it looks like I might actually be getting some room here because this guy beside me will be leaving soon. So, maybe I'll get a good shot of it. So, I'll let you guys see what we ended up with. And then, uh... I'll set it up there and we'll do the whole time lapse thing and then I'll try to do a, a good finished walk around when I'm done. I kind of uh, laughed there when I was editing. I said the last night in the video I didn't have a whole lot left. And then as I was naming the things off going down through the video, I just kind of shook my head and I said, wow, you got to do that twice on both sides. So that's where we're at, guys. Hang around. All right, guys. We're outside the truck now. I end up getting a whole lot of parking spots here. Parking area. Like I said earlier, I realized I got a lot more to do than what I thought. I gotta do all that on the bottom. On the sides. And then I gotta do that from the air cleaner back. Uh, gotta do the top or the stack covers. Step boxes show you what we done yesterday how much better it looks now front looks real good wheels look good do the mirrors I gotta do the mirrors too all this side one thing I'm having to fight is I forgot to wipe that wax off last night I'm having to fight rain it's supposed to rain tomorrow, uh, but if I can get it on there, once you get it on there, it don't take nothing to get it back where it needs to be. So, and then I gotta do the headache rack, the doors. So I'll get you guys set up here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna knock one side out at a time instead of trying to make a match. At least if I can get one side done, this side here's got the biggest tank because it's got the DEF tank on the other side. So I get all that set up and see if we can't get it knocked out. I'll show you what we end up with.
All right, guys, this is where I'm at. I've got everything up to right here done on the pasture side. The more I've got into it, it's hot, and it's in a little worse shape than what I thought the further I went. I believe this stuff has been cut before, but it needs a good one again. But I ain't going to, one, I ain't got my, my grinder to do it, my buffer and whatnot. I'm not on my, I don't have the microphone on here neither, so that's probably why you struggle hearing me. But I thought I'd just give you guys an update. I'm going to order me a pizza or something. I'm about hungry. I'm going to get in there and cool off a little bit because I'm telling you, it is hot. But there's APU from last night. There's the tank. Steps done. Like I said, everything's done back to the quarter fender. There. I'm getting it there. These air cleaners, they're polished right here. But man, it is just beat. It needs a good cut, but it needs. Uh, trucks moving around everywhere here. The mirrors are the same way. It's just in so rough shape. I'm going to do the visor later. Uh, probably once I get the other step done. And, I get there, that'll be the last thing I do. That way I can roll my hood forward and get up there and do it. I don't want the truck running when I gotta do that. So, yeah, I'll check back in with you guys here. Like I said, I just got the quarter fender back here. The wheels. Uh, mud flap hanger. And the bottom on this side will be done. Then I've got the box. And the whole other side. So, thank goodness. Thank goodness, praise the Lord that that other fuel tank ain't as big. Cause it, like I said, it's just, and it's so hot, it's just peeling, peeling it off, it makes it that much harder. It looks good, real good right there, but I mean, I can look at it here in person and I can see imperfections that I don't like. But that's one of the reasons I quit polishing before was because of, I was too much of a perfectionist and I would lose my hind end. Cause I try to make everything perfect and it takes too long, so. I'll update you again. I might set it back up and do the do a a uh, time lapse on the wheels here. Uh, they're I can look at them and tell they're in pretty rough shape too. So it'll be fun. Like I said, at least I got the bottom on one side done. There's the wind blowing, blowing in the rain. So I'll check back in. All right, I'm gonna throw in the towel today. I didn't get done everything that I wanted to get done, but uh, maybe it's bugging me. I got the thing set to where wind's crazy, it's blowing that rain in. It's supposed to be that was too far. I didn't get any, everything done that I wanted to. Uh, I made it to. Uh, the quarter fenders on both sides. Uh, I didn't get this step box over here. Turn. I didn't do the step box. Like I said, I made it back to the quarter fender on both sides. Um, it's just getting too late. I wanted to make sure I got some good footage for you guys. I still like both wheels on both sides. This step box and the headache rack. I really wanted to get the headache rack, but I mean, it it looks all right like it is, so it'll look better. I know you guys are dying to see what the progress we made, so I hope this is a kind of a good little weekend special. Nice sunset back there. Like I said, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, like 60% chance, so. It does. I mean, once I've got the polish and stuff on it, it won't be that big a deal. Uh, that uh, you usually just spray, you know, the dirt and grime off, and it'll be back to normal. Wipe it down real good. You know, like I said, don't leave water spots. But I found if you get going down the road right after they wash it, a lot of times it'll roll right off. The worst part about the beacon is a the soap they use. It runs out of all the cracks and the crevices. And it uh, it makes it it leaves white streaks on it. So, but guys, I appreciate y'all hanging around. 
uh, I'm going to close this video out with, I think they call this cinematic footage. I'm going to give this a whirl and see how it turns out. And then I'm going in there and I'm taking a shower. I mean, you can tell. Uh, like I said, I, I, I could have probably got the headache right done today, but there comes a point where you just got to, you got to stop, you got to rest. So I'm going to go in there and take a shower. I've still got some pizza left over. That was a, that's part of the reason I got held up. I ordered my pizza and it took almost an hour to get here after they said it was in route. Come to find out, they left it at the store. So, but I will, I gotta go load in the morning. So I'll probably start doing a playlist for these specials. That way you ain't gotta sort back through all the videos to find it. So. I guess you could consider this the new, the first official introduction of the truck to the channel. Uh, like I said before, it's an Icon 900 Kenworth. Uh, Taylor Transport here, man, they take care of us. They give us top-notch equipment. So, and I'm, whoever's had this truck in the past, I mean, it's got 500,000, over 500,000 miles on it. Uh, I love the truck. I mean, I, I kind of wish the sleeper was a studio, studio sleeper, but I've always loved the W9. And we've got some W9s and they're studios. And I'm hoping that the people that have one next, when they get their new truck and they move out, I'm hoping I get a W9. I really love the W9. This is the first one I've actually drove, uh, but I, I love the, the layout of them. So. I just had a studio sleeper. I like that big bedroom. But I, the only reason I really do is just because I live on the road, you know, and I, I got everything but the kitchen sink. And if I get a studio, I'm able to figure out why to put a kitchen sink in there, 10-4. So, guys, I appreciate y'all checking the channel out. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, every day I do an upload. Uh, it's Nate, Nate going truck and vlogs. I mean, it just kind of shows the life. Right now, it's a little slow, a little dry footage, uh, just because I don't have all the cameras yet. Uh, but a lot of you that have been here have heard it over and over again, but I'm fixing to order them. So we'll get some good dash cam footage, good driving footage, scenery. I keep looking up when I talk about the action cam. I'm trying to figure out a way I can put my action cam up there. Oh, wrong one. Wrong trip. Um, I gotta figure out how to point this back. I want to put it somewhere up on that light bar down below it. Just a mount that's not screwed in or nothing. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to rig something up probably. That way I can just slap it up there. Um, I don't think the box is metal. I ain't tried that. I'm sure that whenever I get my camera, it'll have a magnetic mount. So. I'll figure something out. That way I can get good footage of me loading and unloading. So, I appreciate you guys. Come back and see us. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you think of this polished job. It's just rag. It ain't no high speed. It needs high speed. If I don't change my mind, I'm liable to do some of that when I get to the house. Uh, but I'm really pleased with what, you know, the outcome of it so far. So I'll give you guys a good, a good little outro, I guess. So. Come back, ring the bell if you subscribe to the channel, that way you know when to upload. So, I appreciate you guys. We're still growing and that's good. So I'll catch back with you on the next one. Keep it between the ditches now.